morning you guys it is thursday morning here and it has been about a week and a half since i have filmed anything our family ended up getting sick but we're finally all on the mend now i'm still a little congested but i feel good michael's back to work it's his first day back he was off of work i think for six days so my schedule is a little out of whack because normally thursdays are his friday but this week it's his monday and he's gonna work the next seven days so I'm a little kind of confused on like what day of the week it is. So for today, we have not done much. The kids and I sat down and got school out of the way. They're finishing their turns of ABC Mouse. And to be honest, I don't have a whole lot to film for you guys today. With being sick, um, I noticed that it just like really wore me out and made me super tired and like the simplest tasks like just whoop my butt. So um, I'm just going to kind of take it easy today still. Um, I don't want to push myself too hard and then end up feeling worse. Um, so today I have on my to-do list, I need to do the floors. They're really dirty from the dogs. Our backyard is like a mud pit and it just doesn't take much for them to track mud in. So I want to like sweep, vacuum, mop. And then the main reason that I'm making a video for today is because I'm going to be making some more bagels. Last week, I did not film it, but I posted it over on my Instagram that I tried a new bagel recipe and it was super good. I think we ate like all eight bagels within like 24 hours. Um, and so I posted a picture with a poll in my stories and asked if you guys wanted a YouTube video and it was a 100% yes. So I figured since I'm going to be in the kitchen making more, I might as well take you guys in there with me and show you guys how I get these bagels made. Super good. I've always been kind of intimidated by bagels. A couple years ago, I tried to make them and they were like disgusting, horrible, like chewy bricks. Um, so I tried a new recipe and we all really liked it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go set the ingredients out, get the kitchen all ready and we'll put together some bagels. Okay guys, this is the recipe that I'm going to be using. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare. I will link it down below for you guys. But the first step in getting our bagel dough ready is we are going to activate our yeast. So this is two and three quarters teaspoon of active dry yeast, and we're gonna add it to one and a half cups warm water. And really carefully, we're just gonna stir it it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to make sure that the yeast is wet. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. So once you stir the yeast and water together, we're just going to cover with a towel and let sit for five minutes. Okay, guys, five minutes has been up. Our yeast has bloomed. And now we're going to add a few ingredients to our stand mixer. We're going to add two teaspoons of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. Then really quickly, before we add our flour, we're just going to whisk this together. So the last ingredient we are going to be adding is our flour. We're going to be adding four cups of bread flour. Once we have our flour in our stand mixer, we're going to be putting on our dough hook and then just mixing for about two minutes until everything comes together. So after a couple minutes of mixing with your dough hook, you'll hear your stand mixer that it's struggling a bit, and that's normal. This is a really thick dough. And so once everything's mixed up, you're just going to um, pour it onto a floured surface, surface, and we're gonna knead for about five minutes. So after we've kneaded for about four to five minutes, you have your dough ball. And what you're going to do is take a bowl, make sure it's sprayed really good with cooking spray or oiled with oil. And you're just gonna plop your dough in there, cover it and let it sit for about 60 to 90 minutes. All right guys, so I have 60 to 90 minutes until the next step on the bagels. I'm thinking my time will be closer to that 60 minute range just because our house is a little warm right now. Um, so while those are rising, um, I have a couple things that I need to do. I need to get this kitchen cleaned up. 
Um, I want to get started on the floors. I want to wait to mop until I'm completely done baking in the kitchen because I am super messy. Um, and then I know Barrett was wanting to play some games. I think we might play Connect Four or Uno. And then we'll probably do a little bit more reading. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started on that. And then I will check in with you guys when I hop back in the kitchen for the next step on the bagels. <laughs> Okay guys, it's been a little over an hour and as you can see my dough has definitely doubled in size. So what we're going to do is we are going to lightly flour our work surface, dump our dough out. So once we have our dough on our work surface, we're just going to cut eight equal pieces. Um, last time I made them, they were not perfectly equal and they turned out just fine. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay guys, we have our eight pieces of dough and now we are going to form the bagels. Um, I don't know if there's a correct way to do this. This is just the way I do it is I just kind of um, spread this out and then pinch all the seams on the back side like this. It takes a little bit of time. It's kind of finicky, but I pinch them as good as I can, and then I form the ball, kind of press down, and then you're just going to stick your finger through the center, poke it through, and then you're just going to stretch this out a little bit. You want the hole about one and a half to two inches wide, and then we're just going to set this off to the side and continue with the rest of the dough. Okay, so once you have your bagels all formed, you're just going to cover them with a clean towel and let them rest while we get our water bath ready. Okay guys, it's been a few minutes. Our water bath is ready, the water is boiling, and it is time to boil our bagels. Now before you drop these in the water, we're just going to stretch these one last time, plop it in, and cook for one minute on each side. Alrighty, so once your bagels are boiled, we're just going to do an egg white wash over the top. So for my bagels today, half of them I'm going to season with everything but the bagel seasoning. Um, Michael's the only one that likes that seasoning. The kids and I like ours plain. So I'm going to do four with this and four without. Our bagels are boiled and seasoned and we're ready to pop them into the oven. We're going to bake them at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, guys, 25 minutes is up. The bagels are done. How pretty is that? They smell really good and they even look better than the last time I made them. Um, I did notice that like this one, I had troubles like sealing the bottom, um, so it's not super pretty, but it's still gonna taste good with cream cheese. All right guys, it's two o'clock. The bagels are in the kitchen cooling down right now. The kids just got up from a quiet time. I do have one last thing on my to-do list, um, which is mop the floors. I need to just like get it done and quit putting it off and be stop being a procrastinator. Um, and then as far as the rest of the day goes, I don't have too much planned. I do see a little bit of blue skies outside, so maybe we'll go for a walk or play in the backyard. 
Um, and then as far as dinner goes, I have not been grocery shopping in a while since we've been sick. So um, I just took something out of the freezer. I took some leftover curry lentils that I had froze a while back. And then I also have some chicken thighs in the fridge. So I think I'll just add that to it and then serve it over rice with vegetables. Kind of simple, but that's just what we have. So that's kind of my plan for right now. Um, yeah, we'll just go along the day and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. and we are sitting down to eat dinner. I just steamed up some veggies, heated up the leftover lentils and added in some chicken thighs and cooked up some rice. I didn't film because it was just heating up leftovers. I didn't think it'd be that interesting for you guys. But we're gonna sit down and eat dinner real quick. All right guys, we just finished up with dinner and it was super good. I had forgotten how good that curry lentil dish was. I'm pretty sure I made a video on that. I'll link it down below if you guys want to try it out. I highly suggest adding the chicken thighs to it. It was perfect. So I haven't heard from Michael yet, but I'm going to pick everything up. And then when he's on his way home, I'll just warm him up a plate. Um, but for the rest of the evening, I think we're just going to hang out. I'm going to fold a couple loads of laundry. And then we've been playing Connect Four. I think we'll continue with that. But guys, I'm going to end the video for here tonight. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tagging along. And we'll catch you on the next bye. one. Bye.